here we are. A couple of firsts for this one. Uh, first client for 2024. And it sort of came out of the blue when um, Lewis here contacted me asking if I could uh, fit him in for a hunt. And uh, being the start of March, it's quite warm. But coming from UK, I had to squeeze him in. So first international client too, which is kind of cool for a zebra's hunting adventures. And um, we've picked some real warm weather, hence I've got the fishing shirt on and the floppy hat and the sunnies and the flies are buzzing around like they always are. But um, we're just going in for a night. He's, he's got a short uh, space of time to experience some hunting in Victoria. So yeah, we've hooked up. So I'll uh, ask you, so what's your background with uh, hunting? Yeah, so hunting's been a big part of my life for uh, probably last 10 years or so, Speci specifically with, uh, with deer. I've grown up on wildfowl and different things all my life um, yeah it's it's fair to say I've got the addiction yeah and uh, here we are yeah going abroad with it doing yeah. what we can where we can and uh, now you mentioned on the way up here you do a bit of deer culling for the government yeah that's it I work I work um, in deer management commercially back in the UK and um, you know which uh, certainly certainly says how into it I am as yep. it's not for the faint-hearted it's it's very much strenuous and, mm. and and that way so uh yeah it's yeah good it's huge it's huge for me so very looking forward to it yeah and um so he was mentioning that he he follows mansfield hunting and fishing on instagram and and basically through a little bit of correspondence with them that they um recommended me and here we are in uh, phone, phone calls and uh, yeah, a couple of phone calls and are. worked out exactly what we could get away with with leaving the girlfriend back in the caravan park and <laughs> Anyway, here we are. We've got one night, so an afternoon and a morning, to um, see what we can turn up. Uh, I was only in here about 10 days ago, and there's deer in here. Um, saw some fresh rubs, so there's something with hard antler. But you know, if we see the perfect eater, we're gonna um, we're gonna break our backs getting it out. But we've uh, luckily I've got some gear in here now, so we're uh, running in pretty light. I've actually I'm not so light. Lewis is fairly light. I'll be lighter on the way out because I've actually got another barrel in the Hyperlite this trip. So I've got a 30 litre barrel shoved in there full of gear. Um, yeah, so we're going to have a heap of room and we're going to be light. So if we do find that perfect eater, we will be uh, we'll be taking it. So stay with us and uh, we'll see what we can turn up in this short trip with, uh, yeah, awesome. Client from all the way from UK. Just made it into camp, record time. Oh, Lewis, he's got some legs. Um, yeah, hour and a half in. So my back is drenched. But yeah, that's given us heaps of time to set up camp and sort of have a bit of a relax. And then um, yeah, we'll get out for the evening and see what's poking around. Um, it's super dry. It hasn't rained in here even since. Oh, I was in here last 10 days ago, so, you know, I actually saw some of my boot marks walking in, but not much deer sign, which, you know, that's this time of year, it's hard to see in that hard ground, but anyway, uh, we'll get camp set up, I've got uh, Lewis is going in the tent to keep him away from Pesky, and I'm flying it tonight, so Pesky will come and annoy the hell out of me, no doubt, so I'll give him a little pat on the head for me, but anyway, we'll get to it. So we've got camp all set up and we've just slipped down to the glassing point. It's still pretty early, quarter to six or something like that. So shadows haven't got really long on the ground yet, but starting to feel like they might be starting to mooch around a little bit. So we'll get busy behind the binoculars and see if we can pick something up in a spot where we can race in and get it. What do you reckon of the country so far, mate? Massive. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Still just the slightest green tinge in here, but it's drying off pretty quick. Definitely need some rain in here shortly. Anyway, I've got the fly net. Oh my god, the flies have been horrible. I brought this for Alaska and I haven't used it, so. There's one there. There's one there as well. 
so see if you look into that gully there's a real distinct white V tree yeah. yeah so that's about the height but we've got to come across to this so go where that white V tree is there's a gully yeah. go through that one and there's a second gully she's just on the edge of that gully in there and if you can look hard enough you can see a, a light very pale colored tree like leaves and just slightly some white branches she, she was in amongst that originally I think they're below that now they'll keep the same height and glass across to your right until you start to get in the bush yep. and you should see one so you'd probably come through that yeah he's about to walk out left eh? Yeah, it's welcome to the left beneath that rock. Been glass and hard, but yeah, this is the first deer we've spotted. And um, yeah, that whole face is in shadow now, so once again, that's a north face. So that will get smashed in the middle part of the day with sun this time of year. But they obviously find a nice little shady spot. And uh, yeah, once that shadow gets nice and long over there that makes them stand up and they start feeding. They should be pretty good, I reckon. Mm -hmm. They're looking to improve, aren't they? Mm. These ones are ready to eat. You could eat them cold if you wanted oh, to. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, right. Just lean on that too. You can sort of yeah. pop them in a bit of boiling water and they can eat. Yeah. A bit more enjoyable. Not butter chicken. <laughs>
Yeah. Temperature wasn't too bad either, was it? It was uh, no, it was too just warm, cool not too enough. cold. Yeah, yeah. Have yours, mate. Just give me a little bit of stir, and then just let him sit for a little bit. Thicken up.
interested in the calf. We're hoping there's a yearling. There is another deer there that honked at us, but I'm guessing that's the hind of the calf. But might get lucky. My god, have a look at these flies. Look at that one right in my eye. That'll fix them. Well, try as we might, we could not catch a fish. There was a few darting off here and there, but I don't know what it was. There's a couple of big shags on the big holes that normally hold some fish too, so maybe they've been touched up a bit. Anyway, we've got these fire sticks. Jeez, they're good. A little smoky. Anyway, we've got probably an hour back to the camp pack up head out we're going to use some water on the way out I reckon Lewis plenty <laughs> <laughs> sweat thinking about it but we have it to do we'll be right. Yeah, a little bit of breeze which will be good once you start sweating help you out a bit a little, bit, it, of cloud a little bit of cloud there isn't it yeah. hopefully that hangs around a little bit stormy actually. Probably a little thunderstorm. That'd be nice. Anyway, right. we'll um, get moving. Well, we've got camp all broken down and packed away. A bit after lunchtime. And uh, a little bit of cloud cover, which is going to help us. But we're, we've got some sweating to do to get up this hill and get out. So, I'm going to leave you at that one. Thanks for watching. If you can, give me a thumbs up. Uh, make a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and go over and check out Patreon 
There's heaps of cool stuff over there. Uh, there's even a free level, so you can sort of get a bit of a look at what's going on. Apart from that, go over to www.zebrashunting.com and check out the website. If you're a new hunter looking for education, heaps of things on there, online course, group courses, help you out. Anyway, and get busy. See you on the next one.